they're acting like husband and wife i would never want to be the person against rose or connor in a fight because damn intellectuals i would never understand hello and welcome to another video today we're going to be doing a reading vlog i'm going to be reading Addicted for Now by Krista Mega Ritchie, which is the third book in the Addicted series. For my last reading vlog, I read the first two books in this series, which is Addicted to You and Ricochet. If you want to see how I reacted to these two books and how I rated it, you can go check out my reading vlog. There will be spoilers in that video as well as in this video. If you haven't read it yet and you don't want to be spoiled, don't go watch that video and don't continue watching this one unless you don't care or you've read it. Like I said, I'm going to be reading this huge third book in this series. I after finishing the first two books, I had this on my desk and might as well just read it. Just continue the Lily and Lo saga. After this one, I know that the next book is going to be... Let me check. Should be Roses. I think Kiss the Sky is Rose and Connor. And then we're going to read Daisy and Reich. We're going to come back with Lily and Lo and Thrive. Anyways, I'm going to go and read this very soon the following clips right now will have spoilers we don't want to know anything like stop watching this video because i will be talking about spoilers now i gave you a warning the way ricochet ended is with lily in dr banning's office and dr banning handed her an envelope told her not to read it to give it to lo instead so we did not see lo come back here Lo is going to make his appearance in this book and I'm just hoping I don't have to wait too long because I need Lo to be present in at least 70% of this book. I'm curious to know what is in that letter so Lo has to come back in order for us to read what's in that letter and this time we're going to get Lo's POV. This is the first time I feel like I'm going into a book knowing exactly what will not exactly what to prepare for but i am not lost i just have questions and they're appropriate questions because i'm not going into the unknown i'm going into the unknown but i'm not lost i know what answers i'm seeking before we do get into this we also need to color coordinate the highlights that i'm going to use for this book it's been like 20 minutes and i finally decided on five colors now we are going to get started. First page in the book and Lo is coming back. I didn't really need to wait that long, huh? <gasps> oh my goodness, I just read the synopsis. The second paragraph. Lauren plans to stay sober to right all of his wrongs. So when someone threatens to expose Lily's secret to her family and the public, he promises that he'll do anything to protect her. But with old enemies surfacing, Lo has more at stake than his sobriety. Are you kidding me? I forgot like her thing was a secret. Am I a first time reader now? How did I not see that exposing their secrets was going to be in this book? How did I not even think that was coming? It did not even across my mind maybe because their secret was so safe and guarded in the first two books that i forgot and completely ignored the fact that it's a secret i feel like i was so in the know that everyone knew but not everyone knew the public doesn't know the rest of her family doesn't know that she struggles with sex addiction except for rose even daisy doesn't know and i forgot about that oh no that's why this book is huge it's because we're going to we're gonna go through a lot yeah okay i'm on page seven now and the front door swings open let's welcome lo home together i'm back she wants him to kiss her and is he going to it looks to me like lo made more progress we're getting introduced to this obstacle very soon on page 17 Lo gets a message on his cell phone um, with this unknown person saying, I know your girlfriend's secret. Oh, Lily sees the message first. I think this person is that guy that has it out for um, Lo. I think his name was like, starts with an A. Was it Aaron? Yeah, it's Aaron. So is it Aaron that's sending Lo this message? Chapter two is his POV. Why is he holding vodka? I don't think he's going to drink the alcohol in his hand. I think holding it 
gives him comfort. Oh, I don't want to say comfort, but he's back one day. He just swung that bottle. They think it's Aaron too. I like how Lo and Reg just invites himself into Aaron's home and Aaron just closes it like, mm, okay, let's walk into my home. Um, I didn't invite you in, but okay. Another thing I forgot was that Jonathan threatened Aaron in Ricochet. Who is Julie? Julie is who? I don't think it's Aaron that sent the message. I just don't think it's him. I think it's someone a lot smarter. I think there's going to be some sort of plot twist in the end or some big reveal because if it really is Aaron, then I feel like that would be too predictable. Oh, Julie is Aaron's sister. So we've never met her before. Me too. I want front row seat as well. I am not off the Rose train. I just love Rose so much. She's just an amazing sister. You can't tell me otherwise. Page 41 to 42, Rose. Lily. Right now, I'm on page 52. Lo is holding on to Lily, making sure she doesn't do what he thinks or he knows she's going to do. And let me just show you the scene. Right here, who do you trust more? You. This is how we're going to go to sleep. She runs. I'm not sure I can hold your weight. And... I'm pretty sure Rose does not know that the oh my god, I was gonna say Sebastian statistics. Um, Sebastian tutoring is basically helping other people cheat. So Rose did what? This is why we love Rose because she is such a queen. I mean, she's not afraid to do dirty work, you know. I don't like Sebastian. He gives me this feeling of someone who is going to gaslight you on page 71 other than that the way lily is just so i don't want to say lily is very gullible or she's easily influenced but she's not the strongest most confident person in the book i mean we kind of see that in the first two books but the way she's just listening to sebastian and not feeling and not being able to argue back when he says these things about connor and rose is like like his words easily got into her brain and <sighs> these are her thoughts i can't tell my sister that her friend is planning on ruining her life i should do the right thing and come clean not be an awful human being but i need those tests and rose can take care of herself she's the strongest girl i know lily the one thing Rose asks of you is to be honest to her and to not keep things from her and what you're doing is the complete opposite. Like Rose is doing everything she can to help Lily but Lily is just like, let me just not do the same for my sister. I mean, Lily has seen Rose break down in front of the mother. So why is she acting like Rose doesn't have issues? Rose is strong but she's also fragile in the inside. Like come on. Lily has her moments, but right now in this book, it's not doing Lily any favors. The way that I'm feeling for her right now, I get it, she's desperate to pass her test, but it just doesn't sit right with me. Why do I have this inkling that miscommunication is going to be in this book? I don't like it. Mm. And I'm not just talking about between Lo and Lily, I'm talking about in general. Lo is going to try to handle this himself. Reich is going to do his best to make sure he sticks to Lo's side. I can feel secrets are coming and miscommunication is always bound to happen when there are secrets. So please avoid it. You've avoided it this far. I just hope this crew sticks together and nothing is going to drive them apart. Shouldn't there be a character that is introduced in this book so that we can say, oh, it's this person that's messaging Lo? Because if I find out that it's someone close to them and I did not see that coming, for sure, it's not Core 6. Aaron, I don't think it's him because that would be such an obvious choice. Sebastian, maybe, but I don't see how or what he would gain by ruining Lily's life when I feel like if he has an out for somebody, it's Connor. So who could it be? I just had a thought, what if it's that guy? Because the guy who's texting Lo says it's for satisfaction and it's kind of a payback for what Lo did to him. What if it's the... Um, the guy from the Halloween party, the cabinet guy, the one that Lo broke into to drink, but they drove off, so that dude never got that revenge. <laughs> I can't. This Lo, why'd you have to do that? 
Connor and Rose, they're in their breakup phase. Connor left the gift at the door or the gate, but Rose accidentally ran over the gift. And because Rose and Lo have this relationship where they just love to argue with each other, you're not going to shatter it all in the name of love for your broken heart. My heart isn't broken. I forgot, you're made of steel. The bionic, unfeeling woman. Connor must love cuddling with your nuts and bolts. Sebastian, mind your own goddamn business. He is annoying me. The way he's just like looking at the trash can to see the flowers and everything. I don't like him. He just threw Connor's vase in the trash bin. Lily really is Rose and Connor's biggest shipper. But same. The topic of children is being brought up and Lo doesn't want kids. Well, I already know they're gonna have kids because I've seen the children's names on their pages. They all just start out that way, right? Because Rose... This is Lily's first battle. Her versus the models. You got this, Lily. I have faith in you. Please don't let me be wrong. When he asked for a hug. I love page 121 on the bottom. When they're leaving the um, Callaway Couture, the store, and to distract her, Lo asked, want a ride? And this is not a dialogue from any of them. This is just Lo's thoughts. She brightens almost immediately. I don't wait for her to say yes. I crouch a little in front of her and I lift her up on my back. She holds tight around my neck and I keep my arms underneath her legs willing to carry her as far as she needs to go, just like when we were kids. Some things never change. I can't tell if the Mason guy has balls as hard as steel or he is just dumb. When Lo says he's her boyfriend, he means he's her damn boyfriend, so why you keep talking to her like he's not there? Get it in your head, Mason. I'm trying to film as much reactions as I can I even closed my window for this. Well, that was a lot more serious because that was a fire truck instead of the regular sirens. I saw the whole truck. I'm trying to film as much reaction as I can reading this book, but every time I hear noises outside, like my patience is just being tested. So, you see? If I don't give reactions on the spot, I'll come back and recap it in case I miss some important things that um, happen. So when I do read it and I'm able to turn on the camera, I'll turn on the camera and talk to you about it. But there's a possibility that I'm just going to read a few chapters and then come in here and recap what happened. Especially if I hear like there's a lot of noises outside, that's probably what I'm going to do. My future reading loss will probably also be like that. It makes me feel a certain way that he calls Reich when he's struggling and when Reich gives Lo the reason why he shouldn't drink because you love Lily more than that when he said I won't ever desert you love not for a goddamn moment you're mine to take care of you understand I think the whole point of this book is basically to see how red Lily can get this girl blushes every moment she gets when Lo got this line what was the line let me see so it's basically Dr. Banning asking them what time they had, you know, S-E-G-G, -G. <laughs> and he said, 7 o'clock, Lily immediately reddens at the time of day. My eyes narrow, knowing full well that I just got caught by Lil's ability to turn into a cherry. I find that hilarious. She's about to turn as red as Ariel's hair. Every time Lo says that Lily is cute, I melt a little inside. Very simple things like that can make the most romantic scenes for me. I don't even know how many times he's called her cute in this book, but it's more than I can count on both hands. He helped wash her hair. Oh my god. What the hell? Stop. They're acting like husband and wife. Married life is going to be so easy for them to transition into, I swear. How come I don't remember this happening? Like, I have no memory of this scene when he did this. This is not for red flags. This is just a, for a funny scene. Um, but this is another funny scene. <laughs> Reich is just fluffing everyone's feathers because how is he pissing everyone off? 
we finally know what was written in the envelope. I thought it was going to be something a lot different than what I just read, but I guess it makes sense. I did just finish reading the part where they were at Connor's home. Reading about Lowe's past and feud with Aaron, I'm like, I get where Aaron's hatred came from. However, like, why did he go after Lily like that? Girl must have been so scared in prep school. Like, she's just one tiny thing, and all these lacro lacrosse players are just backing her into a corner. Like, come on. I'm just gonna check how many pages are in this book. 541. I'm on page 172. Well, 173. I am definitely not gonna finish this book today. I think I'm gonna end reading today. I should finish this chapter. You know what? Actually, let me finish this chapter before I go to bed. I finished the chapter. I'm gonna end it and continue on chapter 20 tomorrow or whenever I decide to continue this book. Good morning. I remember we left off at chapter 20. I have a lychee candy in my mouth, which is why I'm kind of talking weird. Right now, at this point in the book, I am halfway in, but how I'm feeling about this book is that I'm annoyed. <laughs> It's just like some of the choices that the characters make that I don't agree with. I just feel like something big is going to happen. Something big is going to blow up. They could have avoided that from the very beginning. Sebastian, that dude is annoying me. He's not a best friend. Also, I want to say this. I know that Lily is a sex addict. So, it's expected that this book or the series is going to have a lot of those. However... I'm not feeling those scenes. There will be times in this book that I will want to skip around. I don't want to keep reading it. And look, I love me some spicy scenes in books. Sometimes it just gets too much. There's still this much to uncover. I'm sure there's going to be quite a lot of those scenes. Don't mind me if I skip it over. I mean, I don't even show you when I read those scenes, so you won't even notice. I'm just putting it out there. They've had like two or three times in this portion of the book. And two of those times, I was just like, oh, okay. Let me just skim through it because I didn't really want to go in because it's pretty much the same thing. Is that rude? Did I already mention how much I'm going to look forward to Rose and Connor's book? Oh my gosh, like I can feel the hate when they speak French. Let me learn some things to say. Like I can't wait to read. I'm going to make myself cringe just doing this. Okay. What? I'm so sorry. Let me translate that. I've been saying I can't wait to read their book. Why did it sound like this? Is Jonathan going to get a redemption arc? I don't know if Jonathan is going to turn good. I think he's going to have his mean bad wolf moments. But if Lo asks him for help, is he going to help his son? I think at the end of the day, he loves Lo in his own way. And it's not the best way or it's not the right way. I'm hoping that he really does genuinely care for his son. He came to meet his dad to find out who his real mom is really i thought he was gonna do something else okay how can jonathan love low but not right but low's like i want this but i don't know how i feel about it i'm on top of 192 and low is telling the dad about the blackmail if he tells his dad about the blackmail it means that he's technically exposing lily's secret so the dad jonathan will probably know lily is a sex addict oh that's why he signed a contract I'm finished with part one, and this is part two, chapter 22. I just realized after 200 pages into this book, we haven't seen Daisy yet. Where is she? Is she going to be on this strip? She paid the bellhop to watch her bags, but the bellhop stole it instead. Daisy is here. She is here. She's in Cancun. She got meet Melissa. Low worrying that Connor is going to set high expectations 
if he becomes the son-in-law <laughs> that is a concern connor has this ability to impress everyone because he has this need to be a perfectionist so good luck to you lo and reich connor is setting standards when lo said reich and connor watch me in curiosity by the balcony doors not attempting to infiltrate the exclusive club that the callaway girls have for the first time i'm a little nervous that the girls won't invite me in i've always been allowed to be with them and lily's other half but things have changed i realize rose has a boyfriend i have a brother two more guys have been added to our dynamic and i could easily be grouped off with them the core six all together and lo has guy friends now you don't know how happy that makes me i am totally going to be here for the prank Mike is so confident he's like look at me nothing can phase that man Mike and daisy i know you guys will be together i love it but can you wait until she's 18 or maybe just wait until your book because a little bit uncomfortable with the whole taco feeding scene is weird it just doesn't mm. i thought lily and lo was a whirlwind but daisy and right is going to oh my god i am so glad lo is saying these things to daisy and right because they both needed to hear it and i know lily's not going to say anything because she's just not that type of person to confront others so thank you, Lo, for snapping them out of it. 268. He says, Is this your new superpower, Lily Calloway? I can touch you now without feeling guilty. It may not last forever. Then I'll enjoy it for now. For now, the title of the book. Can they ever get together and not have a moment be awkward? I'm on page 289 now, and Connor is sensing something with Sebastian. Well, Lily's great because he's like, you got 95, no way. Daisy, my god, girl, like, you just, you can't scare me like that. Samantha, what have you done? What I'm really hoping for, at least in the series to happen, is for Lily to be the big sister. Every time something happens in the book, Lily is very, I wouldn't say she's selfish, but everything goes back to her. There's so much guilt in her that she feels, I don't know how I'm trying to word this, but Lily is not the most confident person and she's very nervous she's anxious she's shy and like get it i feel like i'm that type of person too especially when i'm in public but this is not about that this is the fact that she is daisy's older sister she should be able to tell daisy ah oh, what you're doing it's it's not just that it's wrong but it's dangerous and she's not doing any of that she's literally i can't tell her to stop because i can't stop myself and she's always in her head oh can anyone else see that this is wrong or is it just my dirty mind that is taking it into another direction she was just very lacking i get she has her own problems to deal with i just wish she stopped being in her head and just say it obviously being sisters doesn't necessarily mean that you are responsible for her life but don't chicken out if you see that she's struggling or she's lying and these lies will eventually hurt her why not at least pull her aside and talk to her i don't see why she can't do that it's not even about the fact that she has a sex addiction and she didn't tell daisy it's the fact that daisy is is like showing all these signs seeking out things that make her high on adrenaline but does nothing to help her all she does is like okay i'm just gonna wait for someone else to notice and for them to tell her because she does nothing the more i think about it the more infuriated i'm getting next book we have is rose's book we're not going to be following lily and lo like this like centered around them anymore but i thought if it's not solved at least there would be a lot of progress but so far i'm halfway through the book and lily is the same way nothing is changing except for the fact that she's not jumping on him every chance she gets because she's been embarrassed enough times in public to hold back a little more but there's barely any progress when it comes to building a relationship with her sisters and that is something that i i thought we would be getting at least in a third book but nothing is happening i just think that lily is making a lot of choices that are not the best i'm glad she's moving forward there's some progress after going to therapy but with her sisters she's talking to rose she's literally living with rose so she's not isolating her sisters but keeping a secret <sighs> lying to her not telling daisy yet 
ignoring phone calls from Poppy. This girl, what are you doing to me? Wait, this means that Connor is the oldest of all of them. So it's Connor, Reich, Rose, Lo, Lily, and Daisy. Connor, I did not know you were 23. Oh my god. Oh no. She's on the news. Oh god. <gasps> Wait, we're 344 pages in and she got exposed right here. So there's this much left. We're gonna resolve this issue in this book. Good. At least one thing is going to be accomplished. We just confirmed from my source that Lily Calloway, daughter of Oh my god. This is this Daisy's gonna find out. The parents are going to find out. Poppy's going to find out. Even Melissa on the plane is going to find out. Who the hell is messaging Lily? I will how wait, how is she receiving all of this? How is she receiving live news and text messages on a plane? Mason is the biggest of them all. You know what? Get your 15 seconds of fame. Yo. What Reich said on page 354. This is a pretty long passage, but I'm going to read it anyways. For context, Lily is saying that in case she gets sent to rehab or whatever by her parents, to make sure Reich is there for Lo because she won't be there because Lily feels she owes her parents for the news that just came out. This is what Reich says in response to her. You and Lo have it so warped. You think you're indebted to your parents because they gave you everything you have. But they didn't give you what effing mattered. They owe you. They owe you for not asking why their daughter isn't home. Why she looks distant and sad. Why she has barricaded herself in a effing apartment with her boyfriend. They have failed you and if they tell you to get on an effing plane to go to rehab where we all know you shouldn't be, then you need to tell them to go to hell. And if you don't, Lo and I will. I promise you that. Right, it's nice to know you have her back. Part 3. Chapter 39. Let's go. I think this is the first time that it's been said, the six of us. That is the first time we got the mention of the chorus six. There is nothing like people who go online or go on the news and make up lies about you. I mean, I had nothing against Melissa, but then the fact that she was so pissed with right trying to make sure Daisy was safe at the club. This girl's priority is not straight. And now for her to go on the news and make up all these lies about Lily. <sighs> when everyone is trying so damn hard to help her and Lily is just thinking about running away or like, uh, I don't deserve this. I don't we don't deserve to be happy. Like Lo is doing this because he believes in you two and you're here wallowing in defeat girl. She got like five seconds of anger when Melissa went on the news, but that was it. That was enough fighting. Lily in the bathtub, Lo rushing in, thinking that something happened to her, but once he sees what she's doing, or what she's trying to hide, making sure that Reich and Connor sees this too, and telling them, stay in the room. Lily needs to know the gravity of the situation. I can't even say I fault Lo for doing this. Lo is trying really hard, but Lily is, she has little tiny moments where she's like, oh, I went a day without thinking about sex. But then moments like this, I'm just like, Lily, what progress have you made? And I agree when Lo says, she doesn't need a hug or to be coddled anymore. Fine, let's just say it's okay, you have a setback. But lying to Lo when you're supposed to be honest with him, that is not okay. Especially given how far into this book we are and how much you keep saying that you want to get better. Ooh, okay, 424. I love this scene because it shows that Lo is not going to let Lily off. This is what he says. Me and you, we're in a fight, and if you don't start listening to me, we're going to have serious problems, Lily. I'm holding up my end. I haven't touched a drink. You have to start holding up yours. We're in a fight? That's when it clicks to her that he is being serious. Now she's understanding. On page 425, Lo asks, Yeah, how does it feel? Burn it. Do what you need to do. She's talking about the toys that Lo removed from her shelf and was going to throw away. My jaw actually dropped because the audacity of this blonde guy who just stopped her in the hallway, a guy, a random guy, stopped Lily in a hallway and it's like, oh, are you that infamous Lily? Grabs her hand and puts it on this tiny weeny thing. That is really disgusting. Connor, Reich, Lo got front row seats. That is disgusting. But he's about to get his ass handed to him. I would never want to be the person against 
Rose or Connor in a fight because damn, Connor just sat on the cushion that is covering the damn test. He's about to find out that Lily has been cheating and that Sebastian has been giving her the test. Of course he knew it. Connor is not an idiot. He's always one step ahead. I mean, honestly, you can just check the pockets. If Connor is the one who's smoking, he should at least have a box of cigarettes. But he doesn't because he didn't smoke. So Sebastian, are you really dumb? Lily admitted that she cheated, but Rose is like, I don't care right now. I'll deal with you later. Sebastian is just digging a big hole because no one is asking for your input and you just keep yapping your mouth off. <laughs> Rose heard you and she is telling you to leave. Like friendship over, I'm blocking your number. This is why Rose is such a... Rose is such a queen. So Sebastian, I want to, oh, this is what he says, okay? You would listen to him, Rose? I've known you longer. Rose, he knows me better. I love Rose. Oh my God. Uh, bottom of 441, when she just gives Lily a hug, now is not the time to tear each other down or to reprimand each other, but just for hugs because Rose needs it. Lily needs it. Where can we get a sister like Rose? Everyone is babying Lily. Lily doesn't ever take responsibility. She feels five seconds of guilt and then that's it. Still, Connor and Rose, two of my favorite characters in this series. If I had doubts, which I didn't, this book just solidified it. Lily, if you're afraid to lose low, work for it, girl. Stop feeling pity and sorry for yourself. God, I feel like I'm coming off like I'm super annoyed and maybe I am. How many times do I have to read this? Over and over about her feeling guilty. Situations like this happen in real life and obviously I would react a lot differently if this was real life however this is a book all she does is I don't deserve low because he's moving forward and I'm just staying in the past if you know then do something about it well I was just thinking to myself this book is about to end and we still don't know who leaked the articles and stuff and to be honest I I have no clue I would say it's Sebastian, but like he's such a pointless, useless character. I feel like he was just put in this book to be an obstacle for Rose and Connor and not Lily and Lo. So who is this person that is blackmailing our couple here? What kind of therapist is this? Oh my god. Okay, we don't know who the leak is because Jonathan is being a butt and he doesn't want us to know. What we can infer is that it's someone that they know because there's no way Jonathan's going to protect this leak if they didn't know this person. Oh my god, I am scared. Why am I scared? I am just, I don't even know how to feel. Loa finally met his birth mother. It's deep stuff, but he has a, he has a half sister too. Lo can't catch a break. Why does the name Willow sound so familiar? I think I came across fan posts on Instagram and saw the name Willow and that she's going to get her own book or she has her own book in another series. Is that her? Oh my god. We're gonna meet like a little baby. Well, she's not really a baby, is she? Middle school. Willow's in middle school and addicted for now. Oh my god. Not just one sister. Willow's not the only one. There's a two-year-old too. I knew there was something sketch about that doctor. He's trying to take advantage of Lily right now because Lo is not there. Wow, this guy, this doctor needs his license revoked. Get about his license. Throw this man in jail. I can't believe he just did that. That is Garf, thank you. I love the phone call scene. And when he asked, why do you love me, Lily? <sighs> oh my God. There will always be Lily and Lo, or Lo and Lily. No. No, no, no. It cannot be right. Oh, okay. That would explain Jonathan's reaction. But I'm on page 527 and I'm so scared to put the page because if I find out that it's right, it can't be. Oh my gosh. Their relationship was just getting better. Are you kidding? It's the mom. But how would the mom know anyways? How would Sarah Hale know? Uh you are oh my god i did not see this coming at all it just never crossed my mind that sarah would know about lily's sex addiction so so she's been was she also the one sending lily the messages too okay you can cry all you want but 
does nothing. Bye, 31. Reich asks, Just answer me one thing. How did you find out that she was a sex addict? I never told you that. Oh, so she looked at his text. I can't believe I ever doubted you, Reich. Aww. Lo says this to Reich. Listen to me. Meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to us. I'm sober and Lily's in recovery. None of that would have been possible if it wasn't for you. You are the effing reason I am with the girl I love. You're my brother, so don't you ever feel guilty for what's happened now. That's not on you. You're my family. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love this scene so much. I'm on page 540 and, well, the previous page, Lo went down on its knees and proposed for real this time. Obviously, nothing can go smoothly because the ring gets stuck on Lily's finger and just like, cute. That's it? That was it. Oh my god. Anyways, I finished the book. Look at this. Um, it doesn't look the best. Out of all three books that I've done so far, Ricochet has the best highlights. The color. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. This is so pretty. There's actually a lot of portions that I did not highlight. Now that I actually finished the book, I'm gonna go shower. When I finish doing all of that, I'll come back and, you know, end this video. I'm back from showering and I'm ready to share my opinions on this book i remember saying in my first reading vlog for addicted that this series might be one of those series where the next book would become my favorite and i don't really stand by that right now because this book addicted for now is not my favorite i think there were a lot of things a lot of choices being made that i did not agree with and i just feel like this one's very different from the first two books in this series this one had more of a plot i was definitely following the plot i was i was invested in finding out who was the person sending texts who was the blackmailer things like that i was shocked when i found out who it was but lily just wasn't my favorite in this book what i will say is that this is probably the most interesting of the three books but it's not my favorite because the way Lily was written in this book, her actions, it just felt like for Lily, we were going backwards. 80% of the book, Lily was reverted back into this Lily and maybe I noticed that about Lily because Lo was making so much progress so it felt like while Lo was right here, Lily was still right there. Maybe it's because I had expectations going into this book that we would see them both be healthier we kind of did see that at the end they're both healthier than when they began i guess lily kind of redeemed herself in the end it's just it's not even just her addictions i just felt like she was crying a lot in this book and i didn't like the fact that she kept secrets i guess you could tell that i was pretty annoyed when lily kept secrets from rose especially when it came to the whole sebastian situation but the moment it was resolved i was really annoyed for no reason because they really did not make a big deal out of it it felt like that was unnecessary from me i mean what else was in it what made me uncomfortable in this book was between daisy and reich it was so weird like i know i read those scenes i read similar scenes in ricochet but somehow in this book it just became a lot weirder and that just led me to be more annoyed with lily though when it came to lily not stepping up and taking a role as an older sister lo felt more protective over daisy than lily did i feel like i covered the things that i wanted to say i'm not going to end this video without saying how much i love rose and connor those two i love them Reading their book is going to be really interesting because like they keep saying, we keep seeing Connor, right? But we don't really know him. He's such a mysterious guy. Intellectuals, I will never understand. I guess I'm going to end this video with saying like, although it's not my favorite book, I did enjoy it. It's just I did not enjoy it as much, but I was invested in the story. Overall, although this is not my favorite book, this was the most exciting. I think I still stand by what I said when I said this was my favorite so far. I'm just gonna rate this 4 on Goodreads, so a general rating would be 4 stars for me, sadly. I mean, 4 stars is still good. It's just I expected better, you know? Here we have it, 4 stars. We're gonna have to say goodbye to Lily and Lo for now and go to Rose and Connor before we come back to these two. But I'm ready because 
Lily and Lo for the free books was a lot to handle. So that was it. Thank you, Lily and Lo, for letting me read your story. We went through three books together with Lily and Lo, and when I continue reading this series, we're going to move on to a different couple. Rose is such a different character from Lily, so we're going to get variety in this series. That leads me to my final point before I end the video. Now that I've finished the first three books of the Addicted series. I want to know what you want me to read for my next reading log. I have four options for you. You can comment down below and let me know which of these you want me to read. I might also post a poll on Instagram. I'm just going to tally all the votes and see which book gets the most requests. Kiss the Sky, which is the first Callaway book and we're diving into Rose and Connor. Or should I read The Inheritance Games? By Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've gotten requests for that. I've also gotten requests for this one, which is Shadow Me by Tahira Mafi. The fourth book, I don't have physical copy, but it's going to be Agamath, which is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Should I finally read the second book to Akatar? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Again, comment down below which of these books you want me to read. Imagine I also have Akamath here and let me know what you thought of this book. You are amazing for making it this part into the video. I don't know how you did it, but thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.